Density versus the speed of sound. How does it affect it? We're going to cover that today on Bain's Basics. Let's go. All right, guys, welcome back to Bain's Basics. I haven't done these for a while. I used to do these on TikTok a few years ago where we break down uh, the physics of some of the mechanisms when it comes to internal combustion engines. And, and this is a big one. People seem to struggle with uh, the density versus speed of sound aspect. As because logic goes, water um, is more dense than air and the speed of sound through water is much faster. Steel is more dense than um, water and, and the speed of sound through steel is again much, much faster, especially when compared to air. But it's actually far more complex than just looking at density. Density itself actually slows the speed of sound down slightly and uh, we'll get into why. Let's go. All right, guys, and just quickly, public announcement, we will be backing off on some of the long forum stuff, uh, especially at the moment. Uh, we've got a little bit happening in the background with Einstein, but I'm in the middle of a renovation and we're going to be moving workshop. Uh, so we've got another shop we've got to build. Uh, so I'm just going to try and do some of the smaller uh, Bain's Basics where I can until we get into the new shop and set up. Uh, we're also going to build a podcast room and hopefully expand this and start doing some question and, and answers and uh, my son and I want to sit down because we do a lot of discussions through the day. You'll ask me how you know this works, that works and so on and we have a bit of a discussion so we thought we'd actually do a sit down in front of the cameras in a more relaxed state and have a little bit of discussion on bits and pieces, videos that he sees and I do a bit of analysis on and break it down and all that type of stuff that we can uh, break into. But at the moment for the next uh, couple of months, uh, I'm gonna be basically not doing a lot on um, YouTube, but I wanna try and do a few Bain's Basics like this and cover a couple of uh, questions and answers as we go, if I can fit it in between. Again, um, I'm very time poor at the moment. But anyway, I'll stop dribbling on. Let's get on to the uh, density versus the speed of sound. And the key aspect here is understanding how sound moves through a medium and what are the factors that actually affect this speed of sound. So first we have to understand how the speed of sound works, how it vibrates the molecules and the molecules compress and that compression uh, vein or wave travels through. So one molecule vibrates onto the next molecule and get the pack and it looks something like this. So now we understand how it actually moves and this is how we're able to harness those compression waves for our sonic tuning, our wave tuning. This is the whole science of induction is being able to establish how those waves move up and down the runner and how to time them properly to arrive to give us that dense vein, that, that wave, that dense section as an extra fill to increase the mass in the cylinder. And the key function here comes down to a products or a, not a product, what's the word for it? A substance uh, stiffness. That is the key difference, how stiff it is relative to its density. Density is actually a handicap. So think of it, uh, water is more dense uh, and takes more energy and inertia to transfer. So I can walk through air relatively easy, but if I try and wade through water, it's much harder. But because air is a, a Newtonian fluid, um, the equilibrium laws dictate that what we gain uh, in density, we gain in stiffness, meaning if we take 25 degree air one bar and we um, double it to two bar, we've increased the density by 100%. So it's now twice as dense 
so the speed of sound should slow down, but the stiffness of that air has increased by the same amount. So our answer will be 346 meters per second on either. There is zero change. Uh, but this also gives us an indication to our wave tuning. Because it's stiffer, we have a stronger wave. And this is where a lot of people in the early days say, oh, turbo cars, you don't have to wave tuning. 100% do. And the wave is even more beneficial if you know how to time it right. So, but again, temperature is the aspect, not density. So now let's talk about the stiffness. And the easiest way to think about this is a spring. Air has a very weak spring. So if we push on it, it'll want to coil back slowly. Um, it's a compressible fluid, where if we look at water, it's a non-compressible fluid. You put water in a cylinder, you can't compress that. It is that stiff, it'll actually bend the con rod or send the rod out the block. So it's very stiff and steel, even stiffer than water. So it's about the material's stiffness that allows the speed of sound to accelerate. So uh, think of a bat, the stiffer the bat, the more inertia we'll put on that ball. Where if I get a foam bat and try and hit a, a ball, uh, we, there's no transfer of energy, there's no stiffness there. And that's how the speed of sound, the relative speed of sound is going to um, generate its speed off the stiffness of the material that it's going through. Remember, sound has to have a particle or substance to travel through. This is why in space you can't hear anything because there's no medium in order for the sound to vibrate through. So while steel is more dense, its stiffness is um, multiple folds uh, stiffer than air, obviously. So, and this is why uh, we see a very, very big difference in the speed of sound. I think um, steel is, 10 times or something like that. I can't remember, someone will tell me. But that, that's the basic understanding. So, because uh, I get this question a lot about boosted engines, that oh, if we increase the density, doesn't that increase the speed of sound? Simple answer, no. Uh, and this is the more complicated answer. It comes down to the stiffness. But because air is a Newtonian fluid and falls under the gas equilibrium laws, uh, it, it has a linear line. Uh, meaning that as the density increases, so does the stiffness, so it's a zero-sum equation. The only factor in any boosted engine when it comes to induction tuning is temperature. We ignore density uh, because it's not going to affect the speed of sound. So hopefully that helps, guys. Again, I'm going to be doing a few uh, of these shorter series stuff that I can just do quickly on the board in between jobs because we have so much work on as well as trying to move shop and do other things. So hopefully understand and um, hopefully these help. Cheers, guys.